And the next thing I want to talk to you about is using your die cut machine for creative journaling. So earlier I showed you my big little container of die cuts and um, words and phrases and different things that I've had cut out for a while. And these are some, some that I have pulled out today thinking I might use for some of my pictures. I love the, the way that the die cuts word sometimes has that see through. You can see through to your picture or see through to your paper or whatever's underneath. So these are a couple of pictures where I am thinking about adding some die cuts to um, my album or with them. That's a picture of my son and daughter. They like to, they are always together um, and they like to go to the bathroom together and play teacher and student. And my children's names are Anna and Drew but their pretend play names are Thomas and Sparkle. So I thought that I really needed to document their relationship and the funny little games that they play. So I used my silhouette to cut out um, that Thomas and Sparkle card. It's just on white cardstock. I drew a box in my silhouette program, uh, roughly three by four inches, and then I typed my journaling or typed my words and then cut it out and then it would cut out into that three by four square since I left those cut lines in there. So now I'm just going through this Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party paper pack and six by six paper pad trying to find um, a piece of paper to back it with. Sometimes if you have a lot busy pattern paper it's hard to, for the words to peek through. Something a little bit more neutral makes it easier to see the words or see whatever you've cut out. So I'm just going to Trim that piece of paper down to three by four inches and make sure it fits on there. I'm just going to add a little bit of this adhesive. I like adding um, the die cuts or um, cut files from different classes and you know different the Silhouette Studio software into my Project Life, Life album. I like that it adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of dimension without being too bulky because I don't know about you guys, but I'm on my second album and I'm determined not to have more than two albums this year. So for this one, I'm going to go back to what we just talked about, which was creating a flip up card. I want to add a little bit more about my two kids and their relationship and these pretend people, Thomas and Sparkle, they have. So I trimmed out a piece of paper of just white cardstock. It's roughly three inches by eight inches, and then I scored it right down the middle, just like we did a second ago. And then we have I have another flip-up card so I can add a little extra journaling. I'm just gonna use my bone folder to make sure it's folded completely in half. So I'm gonna add that right onto the top, and then I'm gonna add my journaling right inside. So Git tells a little story about them and their crazy relationship they have and how they always go to the bathroom to play together. Okay, so I've taken it to my sewing machine and I've just sewed around the edge just to add a little bit more um, of that texture again, a little bit more interest. And I've also typed up, I just fed it right through my typewriter and I typed up a little bits and pieces of information about their little relationship and these funny people that they pretend to be.